Lord. <laughs> we need to let it go. Amen. Praise God. So, happy Sunday morning. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. All of those of you that are joining us here at New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. So, get yourselves ready. I know the food is ready. You can smell it. Amen. We yes. kind of dress down a little bit, you know, because we're ready to get down. And you know Amen. what? We're not going to keep you long because uh, the food's waiting. <laughs> Carmen gave me a thumbs up. Say, so see, yeah. So, Mother is saying, hey, it's time to stop. It's short, but that's okay. But you know what? The Word of God is powerful. Yes, it is. Amen. We need yeah. to know this. We need to get it in us so that we can walk by faith and yeah. not by sight. Amen. You can see things. David saw the armies of God that was fighting the Philistines. You know, they saw the, the giant. And man, yeah. they're magnifying the problems. That's what we do all the time. We magnify uh -huh. the problems instead yeah. of magnifying our God. Uh -huh. We need to know that God is bigger than anything yes, you're facing. Yes. Amen. 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 <laughs> David came, little old David came, you know, and says, my God is bigger than you, and I'm going to take you down. Amen. When you go out the doors every day on a daily basis, when you meet with him, you know, know that whatever is facing you, that your God is bigger. Yeah. Amen. And he's backing you. And you know what he says? He says, you can do all things yes, through Christ who's strengthening. Hey, you can yeah. do all things through yeah, me. That's right. Not only that, but he's backing you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's right. So we need to step out in faith. Amen. Amen. Get all the faith in you. Get all the word in you so all that fear and all that other stuff can come yeah. out. Amen. Yeah. And we're going to be, well, anyway, I'm going to get way ahead of myself. So all those that are joining us, you know, just prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Yeah. Amen. He's got something for you. I know there's some food waiting over there. And yeah. there's something for me. <laughs> and I'm waiting. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchen por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And you know what? This is what I tell you all the time. Don't leave as you came. That's right. Leave changed. Amen. Amen. Because he wants yeah. to bless you. He wants to encourage yeah. you. And he just wants to uh, be there with you. Amen. So let the word of God bless you and change you and correct you. And uh, it's a good thing, you know, to be changed. Yes. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about surrendering all. And all this right. is, before I get too excited... I want you to grab your Bibles, yes. grab your swords, yes. soldier of God, and yes. say it like you mean it, church. Are you mean? Yes. So grab your Bibles. This is my, this Bible. Is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I, I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. Yes. I'll be talking about the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'm not going to say it. Amen. Since the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Amen. And it's so important that we know yeah. that the battlefield is the mind. Yes. And he tries to put things there uh -huh. to confuse you uh -huh. so that you could just not know what to do. Yeah. But you know what? When you get yourself in the Word of God, renew your mind with the Word of God, you know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And you're going to be a champion. You're going to be a winner. And yeah. you're going to go take some land yeah. that the enemy has yeah. taken. Amen. Yeah. So you're going to be somebody for God. Amen. That's what I want to do. I don't know about you, but I want to be Woo. excited about the Amen. things of God Amen. and go and take and possess. Uh -huh. Amen. So Amen. I just wanted to read this to you right quick. Of course, you sang it already, but <laughs> surrender all. It says, all to Jesus, I surrender. Amen. Sometimes we're not willing to give it all up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who are we hiding it from? We're hiding it from someone that already knows it all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're holding back. Mm -hmm. But it's we need to just give it all up. Mm -hmm. Give it all to him. Amen. Give it all to him. You know, when Jesus came, he gave it all. Yes, he did. Amen. Even though he came and knew he was going to be sacrificed, uh -huh. he gave it all to the Father. And you know what? When he was weak... When he knew he needed strength, he went to the Father. So what about us? Yeah. When we know we need strength, we need, we go to him and say, Lord, I need your strength. That's why it's so important that we keep him first, seek him first, and not the world, not all these other things, but seek him first. Yeah. Lord, I need your help today. I'm going to need your help. Without him, we're nothing. nothing. Amen. And so many times we, we've said this. You're no match to a full-time devil. That's it, right. No, part-time Christian, part-time believers, no match to a full-time devil. So don't think you're just going to dance your way around. <laughs> Enemy knows. Mm -hmm. Enemy knows. You know how he knows? Mm -hmm. He knows by what you do. Mm -hmm. He knows by the words come out of your mouth. Oh, All of a sudden, it's just changed by the place you go, by the things you see, by, by, by who you hang out with. Mm -hmm. The enemy knows. The battlefield is the mind. We need to renew our mind with the word of God. Amen. 
all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him. Amen. In his presence daily live. Whew, I need to surrender all. Yes, Lord, amen. I need you. Lord, I'm with you. Amen. Yes, amen. Ooh, so open yourselves up. Let the word come in you. <laughs> and this is so simple. I wrote this down. We taught children for about, I don't know, 20, 30, 30 years. <laughs> But you know what the Word of God says? Yeah. The, what is the Bible? What's the acronym for a Bible? Mm -hmm. Basic instruction before leaving earth. Yeah. And we need to get into it. We need to get into it so we can get the Word in us. Amen. When you get the Word in you, it's going to come out of you. The Bible says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Yeah. That's what the Word of God is. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. So all to Jesus I surrender. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is what it means to let go and let God. God is asking you to relinquish to Him. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course, you, everybody knows I was retired military and spent a lot of time in the military. In military terms, relinquish means to surrender. Mm. To others, it means defeat. But to a child of God, it means victory. Uh -huh. When you give it all to him, it means victory. When I surrender it all to him, yeah. it's not defeat. It means victory. We have yeah. victory in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. Lord, got me already. <laughs> How often we sing the song, All to Him I Surrender, in the hymns of giving ourselves completely mm -hmm. to Jesus and trusting him. But the words we sing don't always reflect the truth. The conditions of our heart. Mm -hmm. Whew. All those are just words. Remember, mm -hmm. words are carriers mm -hmm. of life or death. Yes, it is. Words are carriers of being positive or being negative. Mm -hmm. So before you shoot your words out, before you uh, say something, make sure that it's a positive thing yes, and not a negative yeah. thing That's because right. words are seeds and yes, you're sowing yeah. positive or negative things oh, in your Jesus. life. And you can have what you say because it says, it. Mm -hmm. well, let's go here. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Proverbs 18, 20, and 81. Yes, we use the Word of God. <laughs> if you don't have a Bible, uh, Scott will give you one. There's plenty in the back. <laughs> Proverbs 18, 20, 21 says what? Are you there? Uh, yeah. Mine says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Uh. The power of the tongue. What do you speak with your tongue? You speak mm. words. <laughs> There's power in words. Yes. So you have to be careful. Well, you know, I just have to say it. Uh -oh. Well, yeah, you said something, but it's going to come against you. Yes. It's going to come. It's going to grow in in you in yes. your garden. You know, you're planting this beautiful garden, but now you got some bad seed in there, mm -hmm. and you got to get it out. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you be careful, because <coughs> words are carriers. It says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that <coughs> love it shall eat the fruit yes. thereof." Amen. So, whew, all this is about the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So you be careful. Yeah, this is just words. As believers, we are to surround all, I mean, surrender all to Jesus. Yes. Amen. And uh, of course, I already read you that. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. We got to put a guard over our mouth. No. We got to put a guard over the words we speak. Yes, we do. Amen. No one's going to, you know, we can just shoot it off. You know, you can just grab a gun and shoot, shoot your gun off. But your word gun, you got to be careful oh, boy. the things you shoot off. Amen? Hmm. So definition of surrender is to give it up, give up possession or power of. Mm -hmm. And we're to give everything to him. Spirit, soul, body. We are trying to be in spirit. We're spirit. Yeah. We have a soul, which is the mind and will emotions, and we have a body. Everybody. Amen? And we have to <laughs> feed them all. The, the, your spirit, you feed the word of God. Your mind, you renew with the word of God. Amen. That's your soul. Yes, and your flesh, you're supposed to crucify it. Because he wants to be lazy. And he don't want to do anything. <laughs> I don't feel like doing anything today. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we got to yield to another. And when you yield to another, you got to yield to him. Yeah. Amen. You got to take yourself off the throne and put him on the throne. Yes. And what else? One, number three. To resign oneself. Dethrone yourself or whatever is keeping you, mm -hmm. or whatever you're keeping or putting on the throne, and put him on the throne. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6, 33 says, to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, yes. and all these other things shall be added unto you. Yes. So we are to keep him there. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Surrender to Jesus. Just let go and let God have his way. Lord, have your way in my life. You know, he created, he created you. He put you here. He put you on a mission and put everything on you to fulfill your mission. Right. Amen. 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 He, called, he put a calling on you. He's got your approval, you know, and we're still trying to seek the approval of the world. Well, you know, are you going to please God or are you going to please the world? Mm. And you're never going to please the world. So you've got God's approval. And you know what? I'm going to pursue. I'm going to go with God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But we got to let go and let God. It's difficult for people to understand true surrender. It's more difficult to persuade one than it is uh, for their own good. You need to let them know it's for your own good. You know, you try to reason things out. It's for your own good. So... Praise God. It's easier to speak of letting God have his way than to actually do it. But we got to be hearers and doers of the mm -hmm. word. Amen. Amen. And obey. Yeah. Obey what the word of God says. Amen. Not just hear it and do nothing about it. You got to hear and do. Obey what the word of God tells us to do. Yeah. So surrender, what it really means, means surrender now means victory in your life. If you want victory in your life, then you need to surrender to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now's the time. Are you willing to let go and let your life and let God have it all? Not just parts of you, but all of you. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. I'm preaching better than you. Amen to me now. <laughs> Are you willing to let go of your life and let God have all of it? Yes. Total Amen. surrender. Total commitment. Oh. Amen. That's what Jesus did. You know, he stepped down from heaven. He came into this world and gave it all to his father. Yes, Many yes. times he could have just said, you know, <laughs> I've had enough. To get, take me out of here. I don't want to do this. Oh. But when he was weak, he went to the father for strength. And we need to do the same thing. He's our example. Mm -hmm. And he's a perfect example that we can follow. Lord, yes. I need your strength today. Yes. You know, <laughs> I don't need to go to whatever, you know, mm -hmm. drug or whatever yeah. other thing, you know, that some yeah. people do. Amen. I need to go to him because oh, I know yeah. that I can do all things through him. Surrender, yield completely involves three areas in your life. Mm -hmm. Your past, your present, and your future. Yeah. God knows all these things. He knows all about your past and guess what? He loves you the most. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one that loves you the most. The enemy knows your past. <laughs> and he uses people that are not saved. He uses people to come to steal, kill, and destroy and come and tell you and remind you what your past is all about. Right. You try to step up and they'll pull you down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like so you you have you have to you have to be careful. Yeah, like the crabs. You know, you put them in a bucket. <laughs> And once you almost to the top, the rest of them keep pulling you down. <laughs> so your past, present, and your future. Let's go to your uh, surrender in your past. And we're going to read some scripture. So grab your Bibles. And I'm just trying not to be long here. But, uh, in Matthew 16, 24 through 27. I'm going to read it out of the New Living Translation. So you can follow along. Matthew chapter 16, 24 through 27. Now Jesus said to his disciples, If any of you want to be my followers, you must give up your own way. Oh Take up your cross and follow me. 25. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will save it. And 26 says, And what... Um, and what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Mm -hmm. Is anything more important than your soul? Mm -hmm. For the Son of Man will come with his angels in the glory of his Father and will judge all people according to their de deeds. Amen? Right. So, <laughs> we're, we're to give it up. Surrender it. Let the past go. Uh, Romans uh, 12, 1 and 2 says, Give your lives to God. And I'm re reading this out of the easy to read version. If you were following uh, Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. So I beg you, brothers and sisters, because of the great mercies of God has shown us our life, our, uh, excuse me, offer your lives a living sacrifice to him. And offering this is only for God and pleasing to him. Consider what he has done. It is only right that you should worship him in his way. And verse 2 says, don't change yourself to be like people of this world. But let God change you inside 
with a new way of thinking, renewing yeah. your mind with the word of God, amen? amen, then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants for you. And you'll be able amen. to know what is good and pleasing to him and what is perfect, amen? Yeah. Renewing our mind with the word of God. If you don't renew your mind with the word of God, you're going to be just what the world wants you to be. Right. You're going to see things, you're going to read things, and you're going to hear things, and all these things are going to make you, and you're going to follow along with the crowd, mm -hmm. amen, and be like the world. Yeah. And the Word of God says for us to renew our mind with the Word of God, amen, yeah. so that we know that we're here on a mission for Him, and we're going to f fulfill our mission yes. because He's given us everything that we need. He's called us, He's equipped us, mm -hmm. and He's put those things in us to fulfill what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. We, we need to spend our scripture many times, but Philippians, go to Philippians 3. I'm going to read it from a different translation. But if you go to Philippians chapter 3, <clears throat> hallelujah. Amen. Are you there? Yeah. No. Okay. No. <laughs> Philippians 3. And uh, Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. It says, I don't mean that I'm exactly what God want, wants me to be. I have not yet reached the goal, that goal. But I continue trying to reach it and make it mine. Mm -hmm. That's what Christ Jesus wants me to do. It is the reason he made me his. Brothers and sisters, I know that I still have a long ways to go, no, but there's no. one thing I do. I forget what is yes. the past yes. and try as hard as I can to reach the goals before Amen. me. I keep running hard towards the finish line to get the prize that is mine because God Amen. has called me through Christ Jesus to a life there is, that is in heaven. Amen. Amen. So forget your past. And guess what? Mm -hmm. From the enemy, friends, families, mm -hmm. all kinds of people you know, yeah. they're always going to bring your past to oh, you. Oh, yeah. I have family like this. I don't know about you. <laughs> but they always tell me what I was and what I still am and what they see. Mm. But that past is gone. If you've given it, if you surrender your life to him, that past is gone. In 2 Corinthians uh, 5.17, it says, you're a new creature in Christ. The old is out, the new is in. And yes. you got to stand on that. You had a, 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 a spiritual birth. Mm -hmm. yes. You're a new creature in Christ. You had yes. a spiritual born, you're born again. Yes. You're, you had a spiritual birth, but they don't see that. They still see the same person. Oh, yeah. Because that's all they see oh, physically. God. That's all they can see yes. and hear. They see you, they hear you. You're still the same person. Mm. But inside, you're born again. Yes. You're a new creature in Christ. You got to see yourself this way Amen. and keep walking this way and keep renewing your mind yes. because family, friends, enemies oh, are going to try to bring you down and yeah. remind you of your past sure. and you're a nobody. The oh, enemy is yeah. going to use anyone and anything mm -hmm. to try to remind you that you're nobody. Mm -hmm. But you're a winner. You're a champion. You're a child hey, of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See yourself yeah. that way. And, uh, Let's go to Proverbs chapter 3. Woo, hallelujah. I'm enjoying this in my mind. Amen. Yeah. Oh, man, you see, see all this dust flying off of this mind? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. If you want to see my Bible, it's torn up, it's broke, it's scratched, it's highlighted. <laughs> and if you can't do that to your Bible, just put it aside, get you one that you can. Amen. <laughs> Add to the bookstore. <laughs> yeah. Come out where you can. Yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. I'm going to read it to you from the New King James. It says, Trust in the Lord with what? Oh. With all your heart, all your spirit, all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Yes, yes. So sometimes <laughs> we go seeking advice from people that have more problems than you do. Oh. <laughs> say, wow, is that what you're doing? Uh. <laughs> and you're going straight to the ditch. Uh. Or you're going straight to the hole. So uh. you got to be careful. We go to him because he knows your future. Yes. He knows your past. He knows your present. And he knows your future. Yes, he does. Lord, I need your help. Yeah. And he's going to guide you and direct you in the right way. Yes, he yeah. never tells you the wrong way. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Oh, your past is dead and gone. 
sins are forgiven, yes. yes. But some of those sins are still being carried around. Mm -hmm. The enemy will come to steal, kill, and destroy, mm -hmm. and he use anyone available mm -hmm. for the past has not been forgotten. Oh, boy. Amen. He wants to make sure he keeps it in yeah. front of you. Oh, and you're listening to it and you're hearing these things, you know, and, and you gotta let it go. Yes. Remember, new creature in Christ. Yes, amen. The old is out, the new is in. Yes. Okay, so Very it's time well. you start living that way. Yeah. And not the past, because the enemy's gonna bring it to you over and over and over. The past is too awful for me mm -hmm. to do any work for God. See? Mm -hmm. A lot of people are still sitting. Or they como se llama, you know, they're sitting down doing nothing because somebody told them, you're not good for God anymore. You've sinned, you've done this, and that's so bad, you know, God can't forgive you. So, you know, it's too bad for me to do anything for God, so I'm just sitting on the sideline doing nothing. Oh my. He says, you know, confess your sin, and he'll forgive you. Yes. And it's time to get up, dust yourself, and press on. He says, press yes. on. He never says, give up. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. He says, to press on with the things of God. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. He didn't put you here to fail. He put you here to succeed. Yes, he did. He says, press on, child of God. Amen. Press on. Press on. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if God's given, if God has forgiven you of your sins, then the past is gone. Yes. He's forgiven. You know, if God can forgive your sins mm -hmm. and put them in behind him and forget about them, you need to do the same thing. Yeah. But once again, the enemy's going to bring it up to you. The, the Your family, your friends are going to bring it up to you, and it's going to be there. But you know what? You're talking to the wrong person. That's right. Just act like you're dead. You don't need him. You're yeah. talking to the wrong person. That yeah. person no longer lives. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new yeah. person. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you can't use that against me anymore. That's it. Stop listening to his lies. Yes. Amen. <laughs> it's time to press on with the things of God. Amen. Why keep remembering your forgiven past uh -huh. and letting interference in your service for God now? You must forgive yourself and let the past go. Yes. Amen. God's got Amen. new assignments for you. God's got a mission yes. for you, and you can't complete it if you're going to stay in the past. That's right. It's time to press on, child of God. Amen. Amen. Ooh, I can Amen. do all things Thank through Christ who strengthens you. The more scripture you get in you, the more work you get in you, says the truth is going to set you free. Yes, it will. It used to keep me behind now, and won't, you know, hey, mm -hmm. that's not scriptural. That's right. That's not what the Word of God says. Now you know what the Word of God says, so I'm going to press on with what the uh -huh. Word of God says. Yeah. It's okay. Sometimes you gotta let family know this. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you gotta let friends know oh, this. Man. And sometimes I, I told you how many times I, I prayed and asked the Lord to uh, to uh, help me uh, get rid of my enemies, and I started losing <laughs> friends. Yeah. Yeah. He changed my my new friends. Yeah. He gave me new friends. And you know when he takes it from me, let him go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amen. Let him go. Mm -hmm. He's got new friends for you. Yes. And you know, as we walk with him, he's going to bring new people in your life. Yes. And these people are going to be there for a season. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you just got to grow from that. Amen. Be there for you to grow and go for him. Amen. Yeah. It's bad to have sin, yes, but it's also terrible to let the past sin block your presence of right. serving God. Amen. And that's what the enemy wants to do. Uh -huh. And some people... <laughs> Don't want you to succeed because oh, they're not willing to make the change to succeed. Oh, so they want to keep you oh, yeah. where you are. Nice Amen. Friend. They want to just keep you down and you know hang out with the same crowd, mm -hmm. same thing all the time, all just like time. a little uh, hamster on a on a spin wheel. You know, <laughs> going hundred miles and going nowhere. Yes. That's not what God wants you to do. Right. Amen. Praise God. Lord. He wants you to do something. He's got you on a mission. So it's time to press on with him. Yes. Woo! Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, I've got to tell you this. Oh. So examine yourself, inventory, take inventory, confess all your sins, and let them go. Amen. Amen. That's why it's so important. The mind is the battlefield. Uh -huh. And it's going to come back again. And you're going to say, that's forgiven. If yeah. you confess it, it's forgiven yeah. and it's gone. Yeah, yeah. It comes back again and says, I don't want you around no more. Mm. Remember what Peter, be, Peter did? The lowest part of his life, you know, he's a tough guy. Mm -hmm. But what Jesus <laughs> says, before the day's over, you'll deny me three times. Uh -huh. 
and he did. And that was the lower part of his life. Yeah. But then again, come Pentecost, who did Jesus use? Yeah. He used Peter to preach some of the greatest services, yeah. some of the greatest messages given. Mm -hmm. And people were born into the kingdom of God. Yeah. People were saved. Thousands were saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you know what? <laughs> it just goes to show you, God's not finished with you. Yeah, that's right. You know, he could have just told Peter, you know, leave me. Mm -hmm. I don't want you anymore. You know? He says, I'm telling you what's going to happen. You're going to deny me three times. Mm -hmm. And Peter says, no, but he did. But Jesus didn't forget about him. Right. From Pentecost time, God used him in a mighty way. Amen. Yes, he, he wants did. to use you in a mighty way. Mm -hmm. Also, that's me. That's you. Amen. So yes. see, your, see yourself that way. Yes. Surrender your future. We got scripture for all this. Be willing to leave the future entirely in God's hands. Something God will take advantage of. Don't trust them. Something that would be miserable life to give control to him. Most just can't trust Jesus to bring them joy or pleasure. So they just want to hold on to it because they see their joy in the world. They see the joy in themselves. They don't see that the joy of the Lord is their strength. John 5, 11 says this, these things I have spoken unto you that my joy may remain in you yes. and that your joy may be full. Uh -huh. And Nehemiah 8.10, he says, the joy of the Lord is his strength. And his strength, sometimes we need to put a smile on our face. Yes. Amen. <laughs> when things look bad, what are you smiling at? Hey, didn't you read the news? Mm. <laughs> yeah, the good news. <laughs> I read the good news. The good news says, he's my strength. I need strength right now. Yes, amen. amen. I thank you for the strength that I have. Yes. Amen. Amen. Ooh, Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, Psalms uh, 118, 24 says what? This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Or we will rejoice, depending yes. on what translation you're reading. But I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Did you read the news? <laughs> yeah, not the bad news, the good news. Mm -hmm. That I will rejoice and be glad in it. We're supposed to freeze. The weather's supposed to be bad. It's raining. Whatever. Conditions, situations don't matter. The greater one is in me. Yes. Amen. The greater one is in me. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. Think how many opportunities Jesus had to be sad. But he didn't let those things bring him down. Amen. Amen. Still, he was strong in him. Yes, Amen. Yes. And he, was, he rejoiced and he was glad. James 1, 2 says this, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Yes. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So prepare yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Thessalonians 5, 16 says, Rejoice evermore. And of course, uh, Galatians 5, 22 and 22 to 23 says this, One of the fruit of the Spirit is what? Mm -hmm. Joy. 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 Amen. Mm -hmm. So it's in you. We just yes. have to develop it. You know, yes, sometimes you got to tell you, you're uh, your face and your frown <laughs> to smile. <laughs> Be joyful. Amen. God's in control. In control. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. In control. He, I'm surrendered to him, you know, so I'm going yes. to rejoice. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lord. You know, if a child is sitting on your lap and he says, Daddy, I want to be like you and I want to do everything that pleases you. Mm -hmm. To please you. I want to do everything to please you. How much more our Heavenly Father wants to do for us. Yes. Amen. Then, then a father yes. would say, enjoy hearing his child tell him that. Amen. Yes. How much more God wants us that wants to be with us. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Surrender your present. Matthew 6.33 says, seek first the kingdom. Let's go there. Matthew 6.33 and 34. Matthew. Six, chapter 6, verse 33 and 34. Some of these we know. Some of these we just best to read. Mine's a red. I don't know about yours. Mine says, if it's a red, Jesus speaking. <laughs> but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things shall be added unto thee. Mm -hmm. Take therefore no thought about the morrow, for the morrow shall have thought, excuse me, for uh, the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. 
Yeah. Says sufficient unto the day of the evil thereof. Amen. Yeah. Let me see what I says each day has enough trouble of his own. Yes. Uh, okay, so yes, give it to him. He's he's a uh, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. So praise God. Every day has his own problems. Yeah. Amen. Every day brings his own problems. So why worry about tomorrow? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Today has got his own self. Yeah, Amen. It's got his own so be careful. Whatever happens, the present, when total surrender is made. All unlovely, bitterness, mm. pride, jealousy, resentment disappear. They all go. Listen to this. If, there's, uh, if there are any ill will feelings, any resentments, any grudges in your life, it means you have not totally surrendered. Right. Let them go. Amen. 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 If you confessed it and he took it and forgot about it, mm -hmm. it's time for you to yeah. let it go. Because it's mm -hmm. going to keep coming back. The battlefield of the mind is yeah, going to yeah. come back. When it comes back, you just put it in its place and say, delete. It's yeah. gone from you. Yeah. Amen. You have to do that. Amen. That's our part to do. Yes. Amen. Jesus already done his part. We need to do our part. Yes. You say when you have surrendered to God, yet none have feared of the future are unsure of it, then you have not yet surrendered. Mm -hmm. If you still feel or Fear the future, amen. No person has ever received all, of, or uh, he or she could have uh, from God, because God can can't give all until He has surrendered. We need to surrender it, amen. amen. We're holding, uh, we're holding our, our, our blessings, mm -hmm. amen. We're blocking our blessings. Amen. We need to let it go. You know, when yeah. we let it go and surrender it all to Him, mm -hmm. let the blessings flow, mm -hmm. amen. So praise God. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we talked about the past, the future, and the present. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, once again, uh, Romans 12, 2, the scripture that we used in the other one, but it goes for this one too. Chapter 12 and verse 2 says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the union of your mind, that ye may prove what is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Yeah. Amen. So we got to renew our minds on a daily basis, yeah. as often as you as you can, yes. of the, with the things of God. Amen. Yes. Because the battlefield is happening all the time. All Amen. The time. All the time. Hallelujah. And then Hebrews thirteen five. We. we these Hebrews 13 5 says this it says let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such thing as ye have for he has said I will never leave thee nor forsake thee Amen. You know, the mind tells you people tell you you know God is not with you God has forgot about you. God has abandoned you. But the word of God says, what the word of God says, he says in Hebrews 13, 5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He's always with me. Amen. Amen. So, you know, if you feel lonely, uh, you got to remind yourself he's with us. Yes. And we can go to him every time, all the time. Amen. All the time. Because he's right there with us. Yes. And, of course, the last one we already read is... Psalms 118, 24. It says, this is the day the yeah. Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. So this is all about the present on a yes. daily basis. Amen. Lord, thank you for this beautiful day you have given us. I will be glad. I will yes. rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So the time to surrender to God is today. Yes. Right now. Yes. Don't wait any yes. longer. No more delays. Yes. The time is now. Yes. Don't wait. No more delays. No more excuses. Surrender your present or your past, your present, and your future to God now. We let opportunities slip by uh, because our minds are fixed on tomorrow. Mm. Amen. Mañana. We say mañana. We're to take one day at a time. Yeah. Don't worry about tomorrow. One day at a time. That's a beautiful song, you know. Yes. <laughs> 
one day at a time. Thank you, Lord. How can God, how can Jesus Christ use me today? Right now. Mm -hmm. He wants to use you. But you need to know that he wants to use you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <clears throat> so let us receive him. Let us surrender ourselves to him. Amen. Totally. Totally, totally. Jesus Christ. And let us uh, let God do the rest. Amen. One day Amen. at a time. And in closing, yes. Amen. Amen. surrender all to God is letting go and letting God. Yeah. Amen. Trusting. Surrendering all to God is better. Yes. We defeat ourselves when we try to think that we can uh, do it on our own. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes we do that. You know, we, we get in a place where not everything's going smooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you got to trust Him. In, in the hard times and in the bad times. Yeah, you know? The high time. times and, and the bad times. Amen. Mm -hmm. So know this. We must learn that his way is best mm -hmm. and right. Amen. Surrender yourself over to God and trust him to do his part. Surrendering, have faith, and trusting him brings victory in all. Yes. So today is the day is the day to surrender. Amen. All of you that are watching, all of you that are listening. Mm -hmm. Today's the day to surrender. Yes. Amen. Yes, if you've is. never given your life to Him, mm -hmm. now's the time. You know, just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. I want to surrender my life completely to you. And yes. I want you to come and teach me, lead me, guide me, and direct me in the things I need to do. Yes. I want to be yours. Amen. Amen. And He will. He, he won't turn you down. That's no right. matter who says what. That's it. He wants to be your Lord and Savior. Yes, Amen. Receive Him. Get yourself in a church where you can learn the Word of God. Get yourself a Bible where you can read the Word of God. Because yes. it's the truth of, of His Word that's going to set you free. Yes. And keep you free. Thank the you. truth yes. sets you free. So, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope that blesses you. Yes. I hope that encourages you. I hope that changes you. And you know, once in a while, we need a little correction yes. to get us going in the right way. Amen. The Word calls it GPS. You know, a couple of times, took Patricia to a doctor in, in, uh, in uh, El Paso. <laughs> and I went past <laughs> where they told me to go. <laughs> and once you pass, he says, okay, at the next stop, at the next <laughs> block, make a left and then go back. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, God knows our GPS better yes, than anybody else, you know? And he'll take you right where you need to be. Amen. Amen. And 